pretty feet, his toenails curling over the toe. And they're so white. <laughs> and there's so much space in between them. Bend it back. Bend it back and let go. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 58. Round of applause, please. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what I like. And every time... I've never heard that come out of a human being. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know podcast, episode 58. As you can tell, it's going to be that kind of episode. It is high energy, high vibes in the studio today. I got nice quilt pants on with some new shoes that I've literally had for under 24 hours, and they're already scuffed. That's how I roll. Guys, that round of applause really makes me think of something. It really makes me feel like something's around the corner. You know what that is? The live show, June 30th, Southside Music Hall, Dallas, Texas. The tickets are still available right now. The first link in the description. We've already sold out half of the venue. I cannot believe that this is happening. We are so excited for this live show coming June 30th, Dallas, Texas, Southside Music Hall. We cannot wait to meet and smooch all you on the ears a little bit. A little smooch on the earlobe. And a little after party afterwards for the 21 and ups that are coming to the show. Oh, my God. God, it just gets better and better. This isn't going to happen in any other city in any other date. June 30th, Southside Music Hall, Dallas, Texas. That's enough of the announcements. Guys, if you're new here, if you're already you look below, you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even more below, then you see that conversation isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Get your good karma. Fill it out. Hundreds of thousands of you have already done that. Patreon. We have a super cool vlog available for you this week on Koala Club. We got 10-minute talks with Mama Liv this week where she makes a huge, huge, huge announcement. If you want to go see that, click the link in the bio for the Koala Club. Guys, this is going to be a fantastic episode. Now on to the rest of the podcast. Oh, we got co-host Cam back in the studio. So I don't, you know, I don't have burlap pants on. Ooh. I'm not wearing a you no shirt. It I'm looks like it though. It's it doesn't. It's North Face, but it's black. It's the face, it's the face from the north. Well, whose shirt has better quality though? To be honest, this one. Psych! Like there is goes. That one's definitely thicker. Feels better. This is a piece of shit. You want to see how shit? I'm ripping <laughs> really my chest out, uh, and I'm wearing the same shoes. So he has new, new, and cool. So yeah, he's just better than me. But he'll never be smarter than me. I actually that am smarter weird. than you. you. In certain subjects, Olivia, find a find an IQ test right now. Cam, no, no, no. Find an IQ test. right You now. have miscellaneous knowledge. I agree with I, that. I do. No, I have a lot of useless knowledge. Yeah, uh, my mom. My mom's actually told me that. Since Don't birth. point your finger at me. No, my mom's <laughs> said that since I was a young cat. Like she literally. Like, she's like, you have the same thing as your dad. Y'all have a lot of just useless knowledge. Yeah. Like, I know I know stuff about, like, the pyramids and, like... That's and, cool, like, though. Th I mean, it's cool, but, like, is it... What am I going to do with it? Am you, I going to make money off that? But if you, I've had that much real estate like you do... Oh, because I have a, a big nugget? Huh? I have a big nugget? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Mine's all in my, in my Ooh, booty. Ooh, all the comments. Cam, so mean to Peyton. What about this? What about getting called hips for four months straight? Huh? You ever think about what that can do on a person's mental? <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> uh, Miss Lisa, you know I love you, but I'm not going to stop the laser joke. <laughs> yeah, the, dude, my mom, my mom, every time she sees Peyton, she's like, Peyton, there's so many people that think Cam has got that LASIK surgery. She she's like, why do you say that? I don't know what it is in the Kennedy household that y'all want to keep that a secret. Dog. My dad's just like this. I love Mike. Bro, okay. So this how It's going to be a fantastic episode. Oh my episode. god, it's going to be such it's a good, be such episode. A good this episode. This episode, we got Mama Live on the this episode. This episode is brought to you by You Should Know's first ever live show, June 30th, Dallas, Texas, Southside, Southside Music Hall. Just one more quick little like, eh. <laughs> just kind of nudging you cuz cuz uh a very decent amount of people have already bought tickets it's to it. It's it's going to sell out pretty soon. Gonna, <laughs> just know your time's uh ticking. Taking, wait, what song is that? Uh, Tick tock on that, the clock. Not that DJ, one. DJ, turn my speakers. What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. What the hell was that? You did the lick and everything. You're a freak bag. What was that? No. She did that in the song. No, you, I don't care if she did it. <laughs> Keyword, she did that in the song. You be I have more he. sex appeal than her. I'm a sex symbol. <laughs> I am not. 
You are, you're people don't see man. me and like that's that's GQ. You're no people you see nuts? you and they go that's that's sweat, <laughs> that's deodorant, that's a walking stick of failed deodorant. Uh, dude, it's gotten to a point. Like we'll talk about this. This is the topic, but when we went to the club to, to celebrate Nectar's launch, like some fans, like the first thing they always say to me is like, "Are you sweating right like, now? Are you good right now? Is it too hot in here?" <laughs> no. That's bad. No, it's bad. Sorry, I'm, make, I'm, I'm making the job hard. <laughs> I love it. That shit's so funny. But what were you gonna say? Sorry, I cut you off. I, I don't know. You. No, you were gonna say something, and then I said this is gonna be a great episode. Oh, and oh, you, you were gonna say this, something. I was saying uh, we spent a lot of time together this week. We did because you're my boyfriend. Smooches. Oh, sorry, Liv. <laughs> Liv is like sorry. I don't Liv's like this. Literally like this behind the camera. You... <laughs> but uh, one of Liv. the things. One of the things you, you, you whenever she's not here, you wear mine. The one I got you, but um, <laughs> she, one of the things. I, also, we're gonna get a Mama Live cam for behind the camera soon. <laughs> you said one of the things. Also, like what the? One of the things she also does. I have a speech impediment. You have a lot of impediments. <laughs> You're my impediment. Yeah. You have a sweat impediment. What? Uh, you have a hip impediment. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> you have a rib impediment. You have a head impediment. You have a lung impediment. I have immune deficiencies. <laughs> okay. Okay. One Golly. of the things we did this week together is we celebrated the launch of Nectar with Under the Dude. Influence podcast. We're doing a Texas tour. Shout out to them. They're like, legends. We, I mean... We love y'all. They love us. We we ha we made this little bond and a like, great relationship. But y'all, I mean, we. I'm not saying this just because the camera. We told them straight to their face and we text them and tell them. But it's like, they're doing the damn thing. It's like, very inspiring. They are. It is very inspiring. They are absolutely just paving the way in this industry, and it is. It's sick to be a part of and watch. Like, yeah. It's it's fantastic. It's dope. Like they are really killing it. And they even told us. So we we told them when we were in LA. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this. We told them they were like. Yeah, whenever we come out to, uh, to Texas, and this was like, like February. hindsight, like way, like they they knew they were coming, they didn't know when, they didn't mm -hmm. know how big, they didn't know how they were gonna market it, all that stuff, right? So they were like, yo, whenever we come out to Texas, like it sh it should be awesome, like we definitely gotta go out and whatnot. We we're like, dude, you're gonna have fans there, like yeah. it's gonna be like it's gonna be popping, it's gonna be fantastic. And we get there uh, Thursday after their launch. First off, their launch at H E B in Dallas sold out, a thousand people. Sold out. Pray. Sold out. A physical line product. lines out. The two pallets of nectar gone. Unbelievable. <laughs> out of there. Get out of there. Super gone. <laughs> then afterwards, at Bottled Blonde here in downtown. Yeah. So we we pulled up when they told us they were like, "Hey, bro, we're gonna get there about ten. Y'all should come." Da da da. So we get there. Respectable timing, right? Yeah. We get there. It's still not where it's like every light is off. It's not full club like yeah. midnight one o'clock yet. And there's already a lot of people. So many like, people on a Thursday. Already a lot of people, and we're just like, golly, their face is all over the thing. Oh my Nec god! I mean, it literally, you would have thought Bottle Blonde was sponsored by Nectar, Nectar. and not like Nectar was having their thing yeah, there. It was, it was unreal. They had, they made deals. It was like six dollars for a can of Nectar or twelve for a can that came with a tequila shot. Yeah, they're having deals. It's, un it's unbelievable. So then we're sitting there. We go, um, we we meet up with them. We're in their section, whatnot. We're all just hanging out, enjoying each other's presence. And then it just got nutty. Nuts. That's what it I want to talk about. Nuts. So it was out of literally out of nowhere. Like hundreds it, it, of people. It had to have been, and I'm not exaggerating. It had to have been like a complete climate change within. I swear on everything. It had to have been like 12 minutes. It was where, it, where it went from like you could move, you can talk a little. It's yeah. still obviously loud because you're in a club to like just full blown like yes. raging club. Like it was. Crazy. And I've been to Bottled Blonde on like Saturday nights with like popping nights, and it's never it been was, like that. That was mental. It was. It was so. It was very fun. I hope whenever we do our after party that it's like that. Oh yeah. But one of the things I want to get into, how we are like. You give your opinion on me in a club, and I'll give my opinion on you <laughs> in a club. How do you think I behave in clubs? <laughs> this, this is pain. I can't stand up so you see everything, but this is pain. Audio listeners. Oh, you got. You got to go to the video. I'm sorry, you got to go over this week. You at least got to go check it for that right there. <laughs> no, I definitely got a little night weird ass too stuff. The sunglasses do go on. No, Peyton. Pay, I mean, I'd say we're not too far off from each other. We're we're both like, we're obviously gonna have fun. Yeah. But. I'm, you're never gonna see me like swanton bomb off a table. Like I'm, ne like I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna crowd surf. Like one, I'm too damn large, dude. Yeah. To, I literally end up on my it's ass like no on, one here on can sticky lift concrete if I tried to do that. But no, I mean, we, I say we both on a scale of like, 
loser to fanatic, mm-hmm. we fall in the respectable turn up. That that's the 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 boundary we fall in. If I get really into my bag, it's like I'll grab a bottle and I'll like pretend I get to a concert. <laughs> like I'm definitely like Yeah. I mean I I just and I'll another, tell another, you thing you are. another thing yeah, I can't wait to hear yours. But another <laughs> thing that is really important is the DJ, bro. Like a, a lot important. of people think a DJ is just like, oh, they're just someone they're paying to play the music. Absolutely not. You're saying that environment. Was the case, you could just give it to the club owner and he could plug into an ox. Yeah. The DJ is sitting here mixing stuff, reading the room. A lot of people think DJs have their set lists. Some do. Some do, which they're, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I would ones. venture to say most do. But the ones that can venture away from it, adapt to, adapt the, environment. to the environment, is like it makes it euphoric. Like yeah. it makes the whole night just fantastic. Yeah. So definitely depends on the DJ too. But I would say we're both, we have a great time, yes. but we're not. We're gonna be able to walk out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. Like we're not gonna be like <laughs> until we hit the Whataburger parking lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then we go to the elevator. And there's piss in it. That was that disgusting. Would, we, we might have to just put that literal ten second clip in, in Patreon. In Patreon. Basically, long we, story short, we left the club. We we end up back at Peyton's. We get in the elevator to go up to his place. There's a puddle of urine it's in like the elevator. Dark yellow urine. It like stinks. full blown piss in the elevator, and it. Really? It was so, oh my god! It was, it was so nasty. It was so bad. It this is so how bad. Cam is. Me and Ryan were just cr- we were crying, laughing, but also like. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Cam is in the club. He's. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I just started sweating. Cam grabs. I know what I do, but I still don't Cam, know how you're gonna make me seem. Cam grabs a drink, right? So his phone is a drink. Like he has his like cranberry tequila, or whatever he's got. C- cranberry vodka. It's not tequila. <laughs> it's, it's cranberry vodka. Cranberry tequila would taste awful. That would taste like a chamoy and like. Is Casamigos not tequila? Yes. That's what was in that. No, that's what we had that night. But I'm saying okay, that's what I was the talking. obvious is cranberry vodka. Okay, well, ooh, sorry. It doesn't matter what I'm drinking. I'm drinking it. It's in my hand. <laughs> Camp, this is when you know Cam's having a good time. Oh, God. I'm he grabs so, this I'm thing. so nervous. His eyes close a little bit. He makes a frown. And he goes, <laughs> that's it right there. Right here. I'm like, yep, Cam's having a fantastic time. You, you add, a little, add a little bit of driving the car. <laughs> a little driving. A little bit of the spin. And then he's like, mm. And yeah, it's all it's all to the it's all the DJ, bro. It's all the DJ. Because if you're at a club and it's just drop it, drop it low. Eat it up, up, cut not Joe. Like if it's that, bro, I'm not gonna enjoy myself. That's not me. That's not who I am. But if you're just giving me, if you're throwing me future, Don Tolliver, Baby King, put a little gunner in there, Gunna, Drizzy. Future, I'm like I will be in. I will he be right in his, in his thug bag. Yeah, I'll be. I'll, I'll then, be having a blast. But that never lasts too long. Oh no! Then Cam can't. turns into a dad, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm having fun. I see my best friend vibing. I'm like, fuck yeah, Cam's having a good time. And then I close my eyes for like ten seconds because I'm vibing. First off, why are you closing your eyes? I love closing my eyes in clubs. I can't wait. That's so, that's just such like, a big. That's so irresponsible. Turn into the. <laughs> like, I'm just like okay. That's so that's irresponsible. He He's blind, but you, yeah. But that's what he does when he's finding. Are his eyes open or closed? Okay, he's wearing sunglasses, and yeah. so am I. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, sure. but then I'm like, "Where's Cam? Like, where the hell did my friend go? Because I have to make sure he's okay." And he's always find somewhere to sit, <laughs> and I'm like, "Why are you sitting down here? <laughs> it's my hip. I swear to God, it's my hip and knee combo, <laughs> bro. If I'm up for so long, especially if I'm doing a lot of bouncing on it, a lot of uh, a lot of plyometric work." I mean, it just gives out on me. Like, it's like a power drain. It just gets to zero. I got to recharge it. So it, I'll literally just be like, he's not kidding. That's actually hilarious. I'll be vibing, and I just go, I'll be like this. <laughs> and I almost look pissed off. I'll be like, yes, bro, you look upset. And so I always go to check on him. So I go, hey, bro, you good? And you're like, on his phone. And he's like, yeah, no, bro, I'm good. Just give me like 10 seconds. So I'm like, what the fuck? Get up. I thought when you said the dad, I thought you were going to spin it into because sometimes I'll do this too. I'll be so into it and then I just start just gazing and oh, just yeah. observing and I'll literally look like an undercover cop. Like I will, I'll be standing there and I'm like this. I'm like, we got one right here. And I'm just, I, I don't, it's not like I'm not, there's no fear or anxiety, but I just like, I don't know. It's like I like to see what's around me and I'll literally just be like this. I'll be in the middle of the song. I'm like, I'll just go. <laughs> It's like I snap back to reality real quick. One of the things I was just so the weather is getting better, right? It's getting there's like warmer days now. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. And so it's like oh, it feels good outside. Yes. And I have a jeep, so I roll up down my windows, and I just like the vibe. I 
I've always wondered, you know, dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Dogs put their head out of the window and they look like they're having a fit. The best time of their life. Fantastic time. Bro. I do it and I can't breathe. I do it. I feel like I just got chloroform rags. <laughs> like someone's like, like trying to knock me out. That one video when we were in Austin. Oh yeah, in the I car. I stuck my head out and I literally was trying to speak. And I was like, <coughs> <coughs> and I can't, you can't breathe. I don't know how the hell dog. But do. I do it when I drive. Cause you would think you could see better. Your whole perception is f fucked. If you're not looking out of your windshield and try to do it. Yeah. You can't breathe and you can't see. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh. you just go. <laughs> Wham! Right into the me uh, the median. Uh, to the median. <laughs> the median. Watch it, buddy. A little sick bag. And um, why do they do that? Though? I don't know, bro. I'm trying I to think. What joy does it give? Probably because they got good snoot. <laughs> okay. They probably got good snoot. Well, you're trying to be offensive. I'm gonna turn around in three seconds. You're gonna recreate a snoot, and if you have that same thing, we gotta go. What's wrong with this snoot? Dude, he said, they got a good snoot. <laughs> they got a real good snoot. <laughs> He's like, their nose is nice. No, no, no. Dogs can smell. Very good. So that's probably, they're getting everything. It's probably euphoric. All them. the weaned. It probably is the weaned. And you know, they, they, but how do they, how are they breathing so good though? That's the part. I don't Dogs know. breathe out of their tongue. Don't what they the smell out of their what? tongue? Shh, don't say anything. What the hell did you just say? Don't dogs breathe? Dogs out? breathe out of their tongue. But, yeah. Define that. Explain that. Give me a crash course. How, what does that mean? How do they breathe out of their tongue? Oh no! It's like saying elephants breathe out of their hamstrings. How do you breathe out of a muscle? I, I misspoke. Okay, thanks. They sweat out of their tongue. That's right, though. That's what they do. I read it in a in a lab one time, on a on a website. No, they do. They, they sweat. Yes. Out of their tongue. That's what panting is. That's what Pan I've read. No, that's when they're sweating and they're hot. Sweat out of their tongue. They don't secrete the sweat out of their tongue. Go. No, but the same like, way we sweat out of our pores, that comes out. That's what. The, that's what panting is. No. Pa no. Their panting, tongue panting sweat. is like them cooling them. It's like. Yeah. See how your tongue is. Yeah, but it's not. Stick sweating. it out when you do that. Uh huh. <laughs> you need, bro. You need help. You need help. We uh huh. Gotta, we gotta stop doing. This. There's some. Why? There's some comments that think there's some some funny business going on here. Well. It's stop. <laughs> we have a funny business, but that not that funny business. We got a little good funny business. I, I think I got athlete's no, foot. No, bro. Dude, no. Okay, but honestly, the socks aren't that dirty. I got these in the P.O. box. Show the camera. Dude, they're not bad. They're just black. It's it's like your it's like the rug under your bed's made of charcoal. Okay, but they are black, and you just spit <laughs> when you said that. Dragon has liquid on him, and it's right there. The tip of my finger itches. You need to calm down. I have an, I have an honest come question. Back. Come back to reality. You are deep. Snap back to reality. Oh, there, there goes, goes gravity. Oh, there, there goes gravity. Choked, he's so mad, but he won't give up. Okay, stop. We're going to, yeah. I have fine. a question. Honest question. And honestly, I was like, don't try to be cool. <laughs> oh, no. I saw that shit, and it was gray. Oh, my God. It was silver. It was silver. It was silver. It was in there for Your a while. spit was silver. Dude, my, my aunt does a nasty thing. Shout out to Aunt Kellen. I love you. Focus. She does that. And she puts it into a napkin and she just folds it. Oh, no. Hell, oh, my. My mom. That's the maddest you'll ever see. Oh. She'll Your like, be ready fight. to fight. Don't Bro. do that shit around. No, folding it is disgusting. Yeah, she's like, sick. That's, that's she's really sick. bad. That's really I love bad. her. And she goes, I'm sorry. That's, no, that's really bad. That's really Aunt bad. Aunt Kellen's the best. Um, I have an honest question for you. Okay. Because you always make fun of my socks. But honestly, bro, how often do you change your socks? Honestly. You're, okay. It's the simple fact that you're asking me this question has already invigorated me. Like, I'm already angry. It's a good thing. Invigorating is good. It's a good word. No, it's, not a, it's a good word, but that means a good thing. Invigorating. My you, panties are in you, my... Sorry. What are the man do you know that just plays with his crotch? Fixes a lot of them. His, mm, <laughs> the fact that you're asking this implies... Me. That you keep a pair of socks for an overly good time. But no, I'm saying, but how often? So are you going to lie and say you change your socks every day? I change my socks every outfit. If I shower in the middle of the day, I'm putting on new socks. Why are you showering in the middle of the day? If I go to the gym. Uh oh. I don't do I that. wake up. I have socks on my feet. If I come back, I shower. New socks. No. I wake up the next morning. If all I do is wear these socks from getting out of the gym, staying in my house, to showering the next morning, new socks. This is my science, right? No, I have this, so no. let's go with this pair of socks. No, no. 
I go through two pairs it of socks. Be science. Two no. pairs of socks per week. Holy shit. <laughs> two per week? No, listen. And I have the bad feet? You have a bad toe. I have bad toe. You have horrible foot health. Two per week? Listen, no, it's a science. Four. For, for, for nasty for, science. For four days, Monday through Thursday. Oh, oh, oh. It's the same pair. On the weekends, I do the new pair because I go out. Peyton. And then. Peyton. And then I on the next Monday, that first four. Right? That's for four days. I go with that original pair of socks that I wore last Monday. Four days. What the? And then weekend. You just, you recycle the four-day sock for yes. another four-day cycle. Yes. So eight days Holy of that sock. Hell. Dude. Oh, it's like God. eight and six. No. Right? That's, that's the math, right? Oh, my God. But, uh, but. Th- you just, you just, you <laughs> just said that you wear two pair of socks for two calendar weeks. It's the miscellaneous laundries that I don't like because it's such a daunting task. And then no, it's always, not. Yes, it is. Throw it in with any load, any load. Wash it and dry it, wear a new one. No, but they, they flee. They always go. I don't, and I don't like losing things. Like I have a, a, a slight hoarding problem. That's why I have, I have beef in my freezer from January. Yeah, oh my God, you do. No, he actually does. Like, there was beef in his fridge that said January 27th. Freezer. Freezer, freezer yeah. I was freezing because it's still good. It's kind of like astronaut food at that point. Astronaut food, yeah. Like <laughs> space is real. No, but <laughs> no space, well, we don't know too much about we'll it. We'll dabble into that. You wear two pair of socks for a 14-day. Yeah. Science. I go through two <gasps> packs of socks in a 14-day time Yeah, period. but that's because you're hiding something, though. What am I hiding? You're overcompensating for your ratchet-ass toe. <laughs> Hey, you're ranking ass feet. No, honestly, my feet aren't bad, dog. Oh. What the f- No, he doesn't. Pretty feet, his toenails curling over the toe. And they're so white. That's how, and there's so much space in between them. That's how I climb. They're literally like this. How, his feet are like that. Like there's that much space in between the toes. What noise did you just make? What noise did you just make? You make? I used to have this thing where I wanted to cut off my pinky toe to see how it would be in life. What? Feel it. I'm not Dude, feeling Why is there red in my sock? Oh, you're bleeding. Oh my god, you're bleeding. At one point you bled and you put the sock back on. Oh my god, no, there's infections. There's infections. Look at your- Bro, you, no he does not have pretty feet. No he does not. They look clean. They look clean because they're white as- She's only saying that because she has to live with that, so she doesn't know what good feet are anymore. They look- <laughs> She's like, I've been living They look that. clean because they're eggshell white and baby ass bald. That's why they look yeah, clean. I don't have any hair There's no feet. hair on his feet. That doesn't mean they're clean. She's my lower back. No, his lower, hair. his lower back's a little grassy knoll. It's disgusting. <laughs> Mine is too, but yours is dark hair. Yeah. Mine, I can get away with some peach fuzz. Yours yeah. is literal, like, it could be braided. Where is, oh, your hair's right here. That's where, you're, that's where you got me beat. Right, right above the nip. Yeah, right around my invisi nips. Um, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God. Excuse me. Oh no, hell no. There's no excusing that. There's no excusing that. He sniffed it? I'm trying to see if there's a little dribble. What the? Out. Why are you touching it? Get away, bro. Get away. 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 Ooh. You just sniffed it. You ranking bitch. Oh my god. You rancid ass. Oh my god. It stinks over here. Oh no. It doesn't smell good over here. No. It's because there's I, a- Okay, y- y'all can- You can't Holy pick shit. up what just happened. <laughs> you told me that for breeze. You're, you're touching so much nose right now. You should not be- t- Bro, you just touched your ass, sniffed it, and now you're playing with your face. I was outside of the underwear. Oh my god. I, was I, don't outside care. I don't care. There's a fuck there's a like a stench cloud around you. <laughs> scoot your scoot your uh No, shut up. One of the uh, also uh fuck. Uh one of the thing okay. Um whenever calm down <laughs> hey, I can't move my head that fast. It hurts. It really hurts. So much density. You know, you remember that jacket? I was like I was like this. No. I'm not like this. I'm <coughs> <laughs> 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 in my mouth.
It's better than my ass wind. The Febreze in my mouth. That Febreze smells good, though. Yeah, dang. Uh, you need to change your socks. I, we, try, we were trying on hoodies the other day, and I tried one on, and, like, the style of the hoodie was, like, a really tight neck. I swear to God, I put so on this hoodie. I put arm first, arm first to just, like, pop the head over, and I literally went like this. I was like... <laughs> like, it wasn't... And I, I audibly, out loud, was like, oh, my God. And he was crying laughing in the middle of the store. Losing it, he was bro. literally crying laughing. And, like, people were His looking at His head went through the thing like this. It, it shot out like a... Like a I was about to say a very, like gr- a, very gross thing. Like a turd? No. I was going to say like a newborn. Like it oh, just, yeah. It was just like. <laughs> but I, that's that's very. <laughs> no, it's no but it nature. literally popped out and I was like, oh, <laughs> like a new world. And he was, he literally was going. <laughs> and people were looking at us. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, what, what I was saying no, is bad. it's got so hot in here. Where's the fan? Kiss you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where is the fan? Oh yeah, oh, for the okay. party. Okay. Um, one of the things, cause I oh live, I live in the city, right? Like I live downtown area. I, I love the downtown life. I love it. I love the city, the chaos. The thing I don't like about living downtown is the birds. Downtown birds are from a different planet. <laughs> I like my birds sprinkled with a little bit of fear. Okay. Yeah, they need to. They need to <laughs> respect you as a human. As a as a man, as a human being that can hurt you you need to fly away when i approach you oh so these birds are ruthless they don't fly away <laughs> they're just like they're literally like this with their little arms like what <laughs> like what you trying to take this piece of shit on the ground huh that's my food that's my dinner they're sitting there just getting ready to stab you they're sitting there <laughs> no that's no i get i get what you're saying we're not sharing they're space ru- yeah, huh? like, like this move. is my sidewalk man build this you go to the forest yeah i don't City birds suck. They're thugs, bro. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like city hey, birds. Oh my god, they do travel in packs. They, they do, do travel in packs. They're they gangs. do travel in packs. They are little gangs. They're <laughs> <laughs> they're like, <laughs> do you see her hands? <laughs> see, y'all talking about fighting chicken chicken shit. shit. <laughs> Hit them with that B Simone. <laughs> she said, "Dude, B Simone at the nastiest point." That was the point. nastiest point ever. She I do like, know y'all. She's like, I do. <laughs> Put your hands that was down. gross, bro. Th- I love no, Lisa, bro. these bir- wow, these birds, <laughs> these birds are like that's why they have to put literal needles on like the street lights and stuff uh-huh. so they don't get up there and mess with it, dude. They are bold. Now They're bold as it, shit. It's like, how do you not know I can snap your yeah. neck? Yeah, let, I feel let like they put get- a good fight though. No, pigeons, a bird, city birds, a bird would literally peck me and I'd go, <laughs> it'd be instant. Do you think you could do that? If it was pissing me off and it was trying to eat something of mine or like... Now when you get your white boy rage. No, I, I would definitely be like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It, it would like... In terms of physical exertion, it would be extremely easy to off one. But in terms of like moral and like, gosh, should I really do this? I don't think I could. No, yeah, I don't I would think just I grab could kill it an animal. super mad and just throw it. I've no, always, I, don't, I don't like people that hunt. I've, like, okay, that's that's a good topic. I mean, I don't mind the people that hunt, but yeah. I don't like, I don't like scrolling through my thing and you s- holding a dead animal yeah. and you're like this. <laughs> and there's literally, like, there's a bow and arrow, like an arrow stuck in its side or like it's a bleeding. gun shot in his neck and it's like dead eyes and you're sitting like this. But I, I that's like, like that. the most, pro- like, I understand both sides. I do too. It's the most primal, like, Instinct of man is hunting and getting your food. You don't have to. You can go to Walmart. Yeah, it's like, hey, they do it for you, big guy. <laughs> but I also, like, always wanted to enjoy this sport of, like, getting, like, a like a rifle, going to the forest. But I just want to do it without killing the animal. Yeah. I just want that. I don't know. That's so you just, wanna, you just want to make it suffer is what you're saying. No, I don't want to hurt it at all. But I do want to feel, like, if I could sh- if I could go hunt and, and shoot, shoot one. Bullets? No, and actually shoot one, but it's fine. That's why. How I, do you think that's gonna work, buddy? Well, that's why I haven't done it yet. That because that's not an option. Have you seen how big mooses is? What are you gonna? No, they're enormous. Mooses are big. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying mooses. Would it be meese or mice? Mooses? Mooses. Just moose. You would get a little moosey. Moose. I think it's just moose. I'm gonna call you moose. If you walked up to a moose and went, it would literally go. <laughs> And it would just slam you. Some like, are big dude, yeah. moose are enormous. Mooses, yeah. They're enormous. Aren't they that like one big? video in uh, Canada? When he's was walking, walking on the, the media? Street? Oh my God. That shit was bigger than cars. Like, that's, it was huge. That's a question I have. What is the purpose of some of these animals? Oh, they all have a purpose. I don't know what, though. Like, I don't understand. Like, maybe it's my diabolical hate for these animals. I hate ostriches. What? 
Why are he they does, here? He hates ostriches. What do they do for the ecosystem? They do something. Oh, I'm not doing it. Yeah, for Patreon, we're going to do a drive through safari. And I swear to God, Cam's going to be driving, right? You're going to be driving, Bubba. No. Oh, oh, all, I'm fine doing that. I'm speeding of, past all ostriches. All of our lives would be endangered if he was behind the wheel. I'm like heading He's straight. He's like, no, no. He flies off the path, <laughs> runs over a lion. The other seven come to attack us. Oh, that's. Are you dumb? That's terrifying. You think there's lions in a drive through safari, Cam? Well, where do lions live? The safari. Where are we going? A drive through safari in Oklahoma. <laughs> there's not lions there could be out Simba. There. Simba could be out there. Cam, are you. You think they're going to put the most lions. dangerous animal? No. Yeah. Okay. No, but it just for <laughs> sake like of how you just shut you down. Know, you know, me feel no. bad. Um, it, I think it's time for pay. Mm. Dude, the fact that you're having to itch. Okay, you need to wash your hands. Now that we talk about it, you've already had a half loogie come up. I don't know if you ever touched it or not. You took a shit in your pants. You wiped it. Got a little waff action from sixth grade science. Said one of these big guys. You're scratching your face and you're touching your feet. And this part of my leg is numb. You know what I mean? I'm not getting good you blood to, circulation. No, you need to it's because your pants are made of burlap, and it's like probably just cinching on. Dude, my ass you gets wet. Lululemon breathable. Imagine right now, I could smeed. I could smeed. I could feed a small village with the amount of water that's in my ass right now. I like. I could pour out like about 18 fluid ounces of liquid out of my butt right now, like my crack. Dude, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm. So, you I'm know, like a washcloth sorry. after you shower and you can wring it out. Like if you did that to my cheeks right now, it would just be. Like, Hey, you either love you me or you love no, me. No, no, don't love him. I'm just kidding. All <laughs> he hates him. He hates him. Shut up. Okay, this is uh, it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what it is? Pop, Pop culture, Peyton and, and Cam. Cam. Pop, Pop culture, culture with Peyton and Cam. Cam. Woo! Go. So, okay. Mine is I want to give a big shout out and rest in peace to the GOAT, the legend himself, Jerry Springer. One time, Jerry Springer. God. J Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Dude, I used to watch that at my grandma's house. God, it was so good, so bro. So good. That's prime television. It was. That was very good. And I, I used to always get on there to just watch the fights. Oh, my God. You don't know who would come out. I don't know who would fight. Don't know. A girl from my school was actually on it. I believe it. No, in your school. Yeah. Oh, wait. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Because you talked about it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's but wild, isn't it? Kids now. Okay, so I posted on Twitter, like, recipes to the legend, because he's a legend. Uh and a bunch of kids like respond to like, who's that? I was yeah, like, it's, oh, oh it, it, it just it grinds your gears. You'll never understand the power of skipping school or like playing sick and watching that for eight hours watching straight. Watching Jerry Springer and Maury. Oh my God. Oh, oh Maury. Or if you got a real good day, you get Steve Wilco's show at the end. Bro, that you, was need, but you do that with a bologna fold over, some sliced nope. sharp cheddar cheese, some mm -hmm. original Lay's, some mini dill pickles and a Diet Coke, all at your grandma's house on a paper plate with napkins. Oh, oh man. Nope. Yeah, you but lost. When you're it. done with Jerry Springer's more, you go into her computer room because she's not doing anything important on the computer. You <laughs> ask her to leave, and then you play Millsbury and you listen to T Pain music videos in the background. God, not we. Millsbury, but RuneScape. Oh my oh, God, RuneScape, a good RuneScape. Too. RuneScape and Millsbury. Oh God. But oh, Jerry Springer, time. if you don't know, is basically this show. I don't even know how to describe it. There's relationship problems, yeah. there was social it's problems. Like a, it's, it's like a violent Dr. Phil. Okay? Yeah, like, basically. The, but, like they come on for advice, there's a live crowd. <laughs> Typically, the person that has been wronged or has been hurt tells their story, builds up the hype, and then the person that does the wrongdoing comes out and they, and they try fight. to. There's some good endings. Yeah. There's some endings where they talk about it, they hear the crowd reaction, crowd asks questions, and then they end up loving each other still. But half the time, it's like this guy, this girl got cheated on. This guy comes out, and then they bring out the cheater. The yes. two, the girls fight, and the guy's like, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> and this was before how the world is now before yeah. the cancel culture yeah so uh, the, it was oh, so it was good so good. it was so, so rich just and then at the end telling you everybody that, that was cheese oh. okay, no at the end everybody yes. that was participating in the show that just got in fights with their bloody their shirts are ripped sit on the sit on the stage yeah and then uh jerry goes in the crowd and hands m the mic to people in the crowd and the crowd just dogs them yep oh God. or if you just, didn't want to speak the jerry beads the that's a little PG-13, but they would literally, the girls would be like, I'm just here for my Jerry beads. Woo! Oh, yeah. That shaped me as a young man. <laughs> that shaped me. I was like, yes! Jerry beads! He's like, ah. <laughs> You're going like this with your ponytail? <laughs> I had to calm my tail down. <laughs> Jerry beads! It's like, it's like this. <laughs> oh, but, but no, for real. Recipe to Jerry legend. Springer. Uh, we'll get off the somber note. We'll go to mine. Mine's very simple, short to it. Short LA. to it. 
LA in six. I don't know why I did that, four. I don't That's know what seven. Oh, my God. He's messed up. Oh, my God. I did in four. I did eight. Then four. Then I did seven. LA in six. John ja Morant. Bye-bye, buddy. You're not good in the you West. still good in the West? First You're round bounce out. See ya, buddy. Dylan Brooks. Oh, uh, you suck. Okay, that's cool. You averaged 11 points in the series. You called LeBron old and said he's bad, but he gave you about I think he averaged 24 throughout the series with double digit rebounds. See ya, buddy. I love Enjoy that Cancun. <laughs> you know bye what? Bye. Every NBA player friend that we have and that I've talked to, nobody likes Dylan Brooks like in real life. No, yeah. <laughs> like no one likes him because like, they say he's a clown. Yeah. Like he's li it's literally like um, what's his face from the UFC. But he's actually good at fighting. Colby Covington? Colby Covington. But Colby, Colby Covington, Covington was about to get cut off the roster, so he completely switched his He made a character. Demeanor, made his character that brings ton of attention and money to the I company. I respect that. So they have to keep him. That's Dylan Brooks. His nickname is Dylan the Villain. Like, bro, you suck. What are you good at on the court? He's not I a great three-point shooter. He's not a great athlete. You're not a great defender. You don't set screens and have IQ like Draymond. Like, you're just running. You're out there. 11 points a game. Cool. Like, yeah, you're in the NBA. Obviously, you're very good at basketball, but in comparison to your other counterparts, you're bad. I don't know what else to say. That's great. He's just there because he has a storyline behind him. He sucks. We'll see where he goes in the offseason. Get him out of Memphis. He sucks. I, yeah, fuck, I love it. I'm done. Sorry. I love it. But uh, that was this week's. Yeah, that was great. I really hope someone clips that. It's going to go viral. Hey, if you uh, have a sports page on TikTok, we give you full permission to clip that and put it on ahead, your TikTok. Go for it. <laughs> Shoot. At, tag at him. us. Yeah, at, at him, at us, anybody. Trash. <laughs> see ya. Yes! That's what I like! That's content, baby. <sighs> Sorry. I love it. I hurt my arm. Well, that's that this was week's uh, pop culture, pain, and cam. Pop culture, pain, and cam. Dude, dude. Ah. I got a question, Cam. I got so quiet. I got a question. So quiet. In the shower, right? Mm -hmm. In the shower. Oh, God. I, 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 I've stated this on the podcast before. That I have pet peeves that people that get dressed inside of the shower, like yeah, they me. don't leave the environment of the shower to get dressed. That's me. But I, people have been getting on me, like people that spend the night at my house, they get mad at me on how I dry off after I shower. Oh my God. Do you have this problem with me too? Yes. It's so damn annoying. No, it's not, bro. Yes, it is. I dry off, out, I get out of the shower soaking wet. And <laughs> I so stupid i drive in my bathroom <laughs> no Liv, Liv gets out of the shower and there's literal soap still on her back no that's just not good Dad, you're in a rush <laughs> get get wetter take the soap off <laughs> no but i'm saying i can't get dry in where i was just wet in that steamy environment i had to get out of that no i panic and then people are like oh there's a there's a flood in the bathroom literally man. your bathroom mats always soak wet i I could literally get, when I'm done with the shower, I could step out of the tub and I'm dry. I'm completely dry. I don't get that, bro. Why? Because it's such a wet environment still. Exactly. So I want all, to be out of the wet. Uh, all the <laughs> Get me out of the wet. I want to be out of the wet. All the water that's going to fall off me from drying. First off, I have a whole routine. I'll go you through it. Cut the shower off. Take my hands through my hair. Try to get it as dry as I can. Then I take my hands. Oh, you're one of those, bro. You're like you're living I, in the like, like in a like farm, black bro. Mirrors. Yeah, like bro. I'm literally, I go, I get all the excess water. I off. hate people like that. I try to get my back, and then I'll grab the towel, and then I'll try to get my back. Get I grab retriever. the towel. Ring -a -ding -a -ding. Just, I'll grab the towel, and I go to my uh, face first. Dab my face. Do my hair, arms, everything. I could literally get out of the shower and immediately put clothes on. Bro, and you do it inside of the bathroom. Yeah. You are a sick freak, dog. No, no. Do you understand my rationale? There's a flood every time you shower. There's oh, a flood every time you shower. It's the bathroom. That's disgusting. If there's there's mil poop in there. Mildew build up, water on the ground, it gets in the cracks and crevices, there's nasty stuff. Matter of fact, we shook your little thing, oh, a literal <laughs> ball of hair fell out. So you can't say a damn word. We shook his bath mat because I thought I lost my earring. A, a damn hairball. A hairball fell out. He doesn't own pets. So that's, that should tell you what you need to know about his bathroom. There's just like a there's random, a, there's like... There's a pill on the ground. <laughs> there's, the there's, there's medication. There's a hairball. Oh, my okay, God. But the bath mat is drenched. Okay. You, but can, <laughs> you can ring his bath mat. Like, it's disgusting. But you're not understanding me. Okay, go for it. Why? I don't understand the science of... Okay, I, I get hot showers. Yes. Steam, steam. Yes. Very steamy hot. Can't see. Yeah, that's that, that right there. I can't. It hurts me. So I turn off the water, and there's still steam surrounding me. It's like I'm in a sauna. Mm -hmm. 
Get out. No. I can't get dry if they're Stay still in. wet hitting me. Stay in. You know what I mean? No, I get that point, but I don't agree with it at all. Do you put your, in the shower, do you- What are you doing? In the shower, do you face the shower or do you face away from the shower? I'm a 50-50 guy. You have no loyalty in your blood. <laughs> Pick something and stick with I'm it. I'm a 50-50 guy. What does that mean? Uh, if I had to go though, this is this is one where I'll probably receive a lot of hate. I t I, that water just hit me right in my chest. <laughs> Wait. Majority of the shower. It's You're going, going like I'm looking, I'm staring at the water. It's hitting me right here. Yo, what? Yeah. I'm literally standing and the water's going like this. What are you doing with everything else? Washing. Moving around. Wait, okay, so give me, how do you wash your body? I'll take a step back. I have my, my, uh, microfiber little thing because loofahs are disgusting. Cam is a goddamn lie. You do not use no washcloth. Cam is I a have Neanderthal. microfiber. No, microfiber. you don't. Yes, I. Cam? Of course, Olivia's gone. <laughs> I, it's the thing from Manscaped. Yes, I do. It's the rubber microfiber thing. Cam, Cam does this in the shower. In his hand. In my he, bare hand? Yes, and you wash it. And Cam does You do that in the shower! Because we were just in your- There was no- There was no device. There was no device. Washcloth! There was no device. I use a washcloth. Okay, cool. Washcloth is acceptable. Or this, microfiber. Loofahs are disgusting. I had- You haven't been to my shower in a minute. There's the black thing hanging on the hook. Cam. From Manscaped. Put that on everything Cam, I do you love. wash your legs in the shower? Yes. Oh, Cam, you, I hate you. You lie for the people. Are you, you're lying, right? You don't watch me bathe. I wish. I'm, <laughs> I will give you my literal routine. I get in the shower, wet my entire body, go straight to the hair products so they can soak in the scalp more. Boom, shampoo, let it go on there, wash out the shampoo. Boom, conditioner, boom, let it sit in there. While the conditioner, then I go to the face wash. Boom, double hand, all over the face. Those are both sitting there cooking up, getting all the grease and oil out. Then I grab my microfiber thing, the little polyester, not polyester, the little rubber thing, whatever, because it doesn't hold moisture. Take my soap, and I literally go like this. I, this is that This is that ADD kicking in. Yeah. I literally line it, like, perfectly. I, it's so bad. It's There's some things I'm, Cam, not, I'm not proud of. I take it, and I go... On it, okay. Great, cool. Take it, wash cool. my entire body, cool. legs and feet included. Feet are last, so I don't cool. take that and put it back anywhere. Cool. Do you wash your crack in the shower? Yes. How? With the microfiber thing. You want me to? You want me to give him a visual representation <laughs> of how I clean my ass? No, but okay. But how do you get water in there? <laughs> You're trying to make me do the weirdest shit. <laughs> how do you get water in your ass? <laughs> no, no, don't flip it on me. No, because you don't want to answer either. You got to spread a cheek. How do you? Get so let's see. Let's see if there's a way for freak back. I was asking you to show me. Yeah, I was you were. you to tell me. Yeah, you were. You wish I was. Yeah, you were. You do that after. No. <laughs> okay, honestly, whenever you're washing your crack. What's going on, dog? Do you like open a cheek? What's going on, dog? Do you let it just run? <laughs> do you just let it run? For what? <laughs> you're washing you're your crack. You're setting dog. me up for failure. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I wash my ass in an appropriate and very responsible way. Water, then yeah. soap, clean the area. Water again. Have you ever, like, ran out of toilet paper and had to make an executive no, decision? No, hell no. Yes. You, you, <laughs> you, hell yeah. you ranking, y'all are, oh my God. You've never had a, like, oh damn, I haven't gone I've to never CBS. took a shit bath, no. I've never once had shit on my butt and I had to hop in the shower to save myself. Oh, you're better than I'd everybody. I'd rather use an old t-shirt oh or, or, <laughs> or an actual towel before I just hop in the water. I used Bounty before, like paper towels. But, yeah. I've used it for like two weeks before. I, <gasps> it's because, oh my, your wife just said she uses a sock. But bro, you, you have to no, use Bounty No, so no, no, no. <laughs> you just said, you just said you used paper towels to clean your ass. For 14 days. Not only was it bad on my you, butt. Your ass was raw, rawer than raw. There's no way. Your <laughs> ass was like 140 grit sandpaper back there. I was real sad at the time. And it's when I didn't want oh, to leave my home. you hurting. You probably had four tubes of baby powder that you were having to go through. It's, I didn't want to leave my home. I couldn't imagine. Your ass didn't want to leave the toilet it was, either. If no, it was it's that chapped. Raw. Oh my, oh, hella chapped. You definitely... The, it was equivalent to you probably going to Six Flags, immediately getting on a water ride, getting soaked, and walking around all day. Your shit was chafed, chapped, dry. Oh! I got a fine for my apartment for it. What? <laughs> he clogged up a thing. Clogged you up were flushing them? Yeah. What, is so I gonna throw them away in my garbage? You have to. 
I you learned were that. flushing paper towels. Yeah. God, you you don't like yourself or the environment. You, I mean, you suck, bro. <laughs> that is. Yeah, no, that it was a, a rough time. That's a literal one-time thing, and you should hate it so much that you never do it again. No, every time you slightly enjoyed it. You slightly enjoyed <laughs> Don't it. Don't do that. You can't. You <laughs> can't convince. You cannot convince me that you didn't leave your apartment once in two weeks. You can't convince me. No, I didn't leave. You cannot convince me. But that. but what was it was it during COVID? No. Then you can't convince me. No, it was this. It was. Oh. It got to a point where every time I had to poo, nope. Nope. I got a little angry. No. Nope. I was like, I'm. This is gonna hurt for the next like hour and a half. And guess who had all the power in the world to fix that and solve it? Yeah, but at the time, it just I couldn't get the energy. I couldn't. I couldn't muster up the, uh, the uh, chap you know ass I mean? boy. Chap ass boy. <laughs> chap ass boy. What's the <laughs> chap ass boy? <laughs> Whatever. No, chap ass. <laughs> That's what you are. Chap ass boy. Oh my god. All the comments be chap ass boy. Chap ass boy. It was list boy. That's chap ass boy. Oh, speaking of. Oh my god. Speaking of everybody making fun of me, I'm gonna make fun of myself. And I'm gonna. I need there to see go. how you feel about this because I want you to make fun of yourself too. Okay. Um, Maybe. Oh, you had to do a quick wrist check. <laughs> well, speaking of, I. You know. It's not till now where I've been financially like, okay, I used to be like very broke, mm -hmm. like very broke. What, what is the broke? The brokest thing I've ever done is leave a restaurant hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? He used to leave restaurants hungry all the time. You wanted to go for the social, but you were like, I'll get the green bean tempura. <laughs> like they're eating steak and shit, and you're just like, I'll, I'll take your rolls. I wouldn't even order anything. It's like the complimentary rolls. Until <laughs> they were like, Hey, do you want anything? And I was like, I can't. Oh my god, I can't. It just water. Up. I'm watering up. And then, and then. Oh my god, the only place that that's acceptable is Chili's. You get the chips and salsa, and you just get like beers with it. Or something. No, no, I couldn't even order drinks. <laughs> it's just water, dog. Straight out the tap. <laughs> Like, don't give me no filter shit either. You have a ten mile radius, like you're like, hey dog, I won't be I can't get gas if it's past this circle. Like, we gotta go somewhere in my bubble. Oh my god. And that's then bad. I had a girlfriend when I was super broke, that's why she cheated on me. Oh. I couldn't do anything nice. And so we would always like she loved going to the movies. And I could movies are so expensive. And so what I would do is I would be like, hey babe, you wanna go get go to a movie? She'd be like, Yeah. And I'd be like, I know I can't afford like if we go to the movie, we're not getting food. Oh. So I was like, I, it's not going to be a good movie theater experience. So I was like, I'd be driving to the, like, we fully scheduled to go to the movie. She's dressed up. I'm not, because I know we're not going in. So I'd be driving to the movie. <laughs> and I'd be like, you know what, babe? Let's just stay at home and watch a movie. Oh, you're a sick bastard. <laughs> and you're I'd be like, that card. but I'd be like, but you know what? Let's bring the movie to us. Let's go in there, order a tub of popcorn. Don't do large though, and we can take it He's home. He's like, make sure you get, make sure you get a medium. He's like, we can't get a refill. We don't need the one you can refill. So literally, we would go into the movie theater, order like a medium popcorn, take it home, and then you don't even watch that film because it's not you can't watch it. Oh my god! No, we'd do one, two, three movies. Oh, you'd see somebody's foot in the shot. And she's like, toe, yo. No, okay, I can't be the. What's the brokest thing you've ever done then? Ah. Uh, I oh I, I mean y'all know me I'm a frugal guy. You're very frugal. But I would say, one of the brokest things I've ever done is, I I was in a club and I didn't want to give up my real estate of where I was at, and I also didn't want to order one because it was too expensive, so I reached in the bucket of the bottle and I started chewing the ice. All right, in the war oh, dude, I started chewing the ice from the bottle bucket. So not only has human hands been on the bottle that's now in there, the worst part that actually made me regret everything I've done is after that night, we were in the section and I saw someone's foot go in the bucket. And I immediately was like, holy shit. I'm like, what is inside of me right now? It was bad. No, I, I was like, oh, I don't want to leave. Their water here is like, it's, I mean, it's free if I go over there, but to get the bottled ones that they bring here, it's going to be like five bucks. I was like... You're sick, dog. <laughs> Just started chugging on ice. I was chewing on foot ice from foot, a bucket. Yeah, I, was, I was eating phalange ice. That we ice. didn't pay for. Oh, no, we didn't pay for it. But I saw a boot. A whole hoof was in the ice bucket. And it just wasn't. It, it, it really made me think. I was like, dog, I got to stop doing this. Like, if I'm out here, I can afford a bottle of water. No, honestly, really bad. another broke thing I did with my girlfriend that cheated on me because I was broke. Um, 
when she wanted to go date nights, my car, I couldn't afford car washes because they're so expensive. Oh, I haven't washed my car in about three years. I swear to God. I have not got a car wash in like three years. But what I would do is- it rains, I'm lucky. I would drive downtown and you know the homeless guys that always like run up to your car and just spray shit on it and then start cleaning it Mm -hmm. without asking? I'd be like, I need to find them. So I would drive to that corner and I'd be like- And then you don't tip them. No, I'd give them like some quarters. That's all I had. Those are for like like parking meters and stuff, but I would give it to them. Oh, uh, another broke thing I've done: someone gave me a gift and I re-gifted it to the next person because <laughs> you didn't want to go buy a gift. <laughs> Somebody gave me a gift and I knew someone else's like event was coming up, so I just I scratched out Cam. I wrote their name and said that I messed up on the spelling. I oh, gave it to them. Shit. Yeah, no, that's bad. Yeah, no, we're we're definitely a lot better off now. Uh, yes, like, thank God. A lot better. Shout off. out to God. Getting inside oh, that situation. Yeah, for real. Good um, Lord. Let's get Mama Liv on. I'm still. Oh, Mama Liv. Let's get her on. All right, guys. We got Mama Liv on the podcast today. And hey. ooh, ooh. Oh, she's oh. okay. Oh. Yeah. Go crazy, get your Mama Liv. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get your little thing. Y'all haven't seen her on the regular podcast in a minute. So I'm in glad. A minute. It's been a minute. The last one was like the first grader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a banger. So what do you got for well, us yeah, today, what is, Liv? What you got box? a box. What's this box, what's this box? She told us, first hey, I really want to get on. And she brought she brought a box with her. What, um, what am I, was it gerbils? What do you mean? I what guess? Know. All right, so what are we doing with okay, this? Okay, so you guys have might have heard of this little thing that's been going around, and it might be a while ago, but it, we're bringing it back. Okay. So I'm going <coughs> to pull objects out of this mystery box, and you two have to make the sound of the object. Just the sound. Oh, oh God. Not naming it, like you have to make the sound. Like, the sound. The, like what the object makes, the noise yes. it makes. Oh, I that can do that. That you think okay. the object makes. Oh, I can okay. do that. This easy. sounds a lot easier. Okay. I have ears, two of them. Yeah, here we Are go. Are we ready? I'm mm-hmm. ready. I'm just really just going to put my hand in there. I'm really nervous of what's something. in this box. I'm really nervous. <coughs> oh, okay. That is a ping pong paddle. Um, what sound would this make? Okay, he's saying, and you're saying. You're making the sound that the ball makes. Yeah, on you the are thing. making the sound of the, the ball. What, what's hitting the ball to cause that noise? The ping pong. The ping pong paddle. Uh, but it, but I'm, I'm hitting the ping pong ball. The ping pong paddle is creating the. Okay, but there's no ping pong. If that's just, if that's just alone, it goes. <laughs> what the hell is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like if you swing it. <laughs> oh, I see that too. Mm. If, if you swing it fast of- enough, it'll just go. <laughs> it just goes, it's like when a girl farts. <laughs> like if, I've a, never if heard a girl wo- farts. If a woman farts, it's really like this. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Not my farts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, that's my wife. Hey, ping pong that, was, that was pretty good. That was good. That, that, that sounds good. pretty good. All good. right. Moving on. Let's go. I'm nervous, bro. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, I was going to say he, 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 Ooh, what kind of hair you got? That's that was a damn walker from season four of Walking Dead. Your hair. That's literally just this. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. That's okay. simple. Whatever. Okay. Moving on. Let's see. Let's see. Object three. Is that a fork? Oh. A fork. Poink. Bing. Poink. Bing. Poink. Bing. It goes bing. It's, just, it's plastic. <laughs> yeah. What? But look, bend it back. Bend it back and let go. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. I'm yeah, so yeah, accurate. Yeah, let's do I'm it. so good. Oh, oh shit. God. Donk, donk, donk. No. Donk. Oh. Hammers give me more of an elegant thing. Or it's like. Yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> ding, ding. Yeah, that's no. like you're DJing. <laughs> no, this one's better. <laughs> no, no. That, that, if, you, if you're slamming into a nail, it's literally going. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's going like this. It's more like a ding. Aren't you no. fucking go- tink? Tink. tink? What are we in, Bob the Builder? Yeah, yeah. And you, you're, what are you, a fish? You said, it literally yeah. is going, it, you're hitting an object with a blunt object. You're just going, what? hit that wood. Yes, you're hitting metal, dick. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't specify. Hit the wood. Yeah, hit that. <laughs> Wait, give me it. Yeah. That was pretty close. No, lit, look. I'm definitely too. Okay, uh, be okay, gentle, no. be gentle. <laughs> oh. Bro, hold it's literally going. Pain. It's going. Why are you yeah. holding these? You like, hold that flimsy as hell. You said, give me the hammer, dog. Give me the hammer. <laughs> like, what? I never got taught home ec. That's not home ec. <laughs> Watch. Not- that is Watch like this. wood shop. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Look, ready? Now watch. 
Wait, I want to try the thing. What did no get the f no? Does that actually work, Doctor Phil? I can do it to you. No, in don't a safe touch way. me. All right, safe boys, way. we got one more. In a safe one more. Way. Ow, fuck. <laughs> Last one. I'm definitely clowning both of you. That's that's. Oh. My. All right, you sphinx. <laughs> Holy shit! Why are your scissors so sticky? Oh my! His scissors are. They were dipped in glue. They were dipped in glue. <laughs> There's hair on them. No, and chips. There's a chip. There's a chip on this on this scissor. <laughs> oh my god! I just grabbed them thinking they were normal scissors. It's a high These functionality might make scissors. Make a totally different those noise. <laughs> no, those are just like they like can't fighting even close. for their life. Look. Oh, okay. It's not close all the way. And try and open them. It's like the <gasps> sword in the stone. No, the I know y'all saw that. Yeah, it's sticky as hell. Yeah. Those are oh. Uh, okay, scissors go. Yeah, nasty oh, ass that's scissors, bro. That's a good one on paper. They yeah. Go. Oh, that, hey, that's. Thank you, dog. I don't even know if I can. What? Why are you grab? What are you doing right then? That's not. Let's not do that. Scissors go. No, scissors. If you do the long cut like you're doing wrapping paper, it's definitely. You wait, cut if you're, wrapping if paper? I thought it comes cut. How do you wrap presents in? <laughs> you measure it, cut it, wrap, hey, tape. Hey, Cameron knows all about wrapping presents, don't you, babe? Dude, I must... Mm. Why don't you just buy a bag? Buy a bag? What am I going to a birthday party? It's Christmas. There's Christmas bags. One of those little Elmos. A cr mean, Christmas bag just shows <laughs> laziness. Yeah. If, if you're doing Christmas bags, you're not a... a and I promise you, y'all's gifts this year are coming in fucking bags. <laughs> if I... Uh, do, matter of fact, he did give it to me in a bag. He did. On my birthday. Yeah. Or Christmas. No, bag. that was Christmas. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Regular scissors when you're cutting, it definitely goes like this. It's like it's a deeper. When you do that, it's like it's higher pitch because it's continuous. It's like, mm -hmm. but a regular cut is like, what? That is yeah. If you're doing like not, it's like deeper. A, yeah, it's like a deep. It's a it's a lower. It's the a, hell are you cutting? A lower octave cardstock. What the hell is cardstock? Like thick paper where oh you would put God. something important on. Y'all rich. I don't like know. A, like a contract to be on some card, like a like a formal greeting to the Met Gala, or That's like a, a good paper. You want to use cardstock. Like an invitation paper. to the royal ball. I've never like been. you like you pull up on horseback. I still get not injured at clubs. I can't go into the royal. Hear thee about thy. I invite you to the royal ball. Like that. It would be on cardstock, like a scroll. So regardless of what it is, you can cut literally anything. And go. It goes. What is that? What? Oh my God! You scared me. I shit myself a little bit. No, speaking about disgusting, uh -oh. the other night, me and Liv, so we were super tired. We had a little movie night, and we were just in the bed chilling, and we fell asleep mm -hmm. in hoodies and sweats. So super comfy, but it was, it, you know, it was... Oh, I bet you smelled like warm. <laughs> How do you smell like warm? How do you warm? smell like warm? You know what that means. No one knows that's not a thing. Smelling like warm? It's yeah, not a thing. Can't... Take it out. We're gonna address this right here. We're Take it out. You cannot smell like. How do you? How, yeah. How do That's you? A descriptive word. Adjective's like a verb. No, this is a verb. Adjective is like funny. No, warm is an adjective. It's describing something. And oh, you it can is. describe a smell. You smell like warm. That's no, not a thing. That's saying no. you. That's like saying you smell no. like bleed. Like you can, That's not a <laughs> thing. Bleed. You don't smell like bleed. <laughs> you can feel warm. Yeah, you can't, you can't smell, smell warm. warm. You know when you walk you into a funky. You know you when you walk into a room that is like hot. It oh smells, God, he's getting nervous. Like he's getting nervous. No, he's getting nervous. Warm. Your body's feeling warm, so you're just saying I can smell the warmth. You can't smell the warmth. No, it smells. You, 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 you smell can like smell warm. the wood that's burning under the fire. No, you can't smell fire. If y'all went to if y'all went to bed with all those layers. <laughs> If y'all went, went to bed with all those layers on, and yes. I were to put my nasal under the covers, it smells like warm in there. No, you no, like, you can't. You don't. Like funky. But you don't smell like run. Like you, you sweat and you smell like sweat. That's true. You can't smell run. You don't smell bleed. <laughs> that, but those are different. Those are describing no, words. Not. So it's warm. warm. No, that pastry was sweet and warm. So you can't, you can't, you can't smell an ice cube that smells cold. Oh That's God. not a thing. Call you nuts. Take it out. Hey, you know what your five senses are? Feel, touch, breathe. <laughs> oh my. Smell, God. run. I can't think anymore. <laughs> Wait, touch, feel, smell. Uh, you almost <laughs> said run again. You need to calm down, bro. His mind okay, is, slow, is slow. Okay. firing right now. Touch, feel. Your little neurons Stop are going. Talking. Stop talking. I can't, I can't think. Touch. This motherfucker said touch and feel. It's the same thing. God, you suck. You no, no. Touch, <laughs> touch, see, hear, smell. Mm hmm. Yeah, one more. Come on, Bubba. What's another huge thing? Come on, Bubby Bear. Taste. There Taste. 
I did this because I thought he didn't. He already here. said here. Yeah. Taste. So think about it. When something's warm, mm-hmm. what sense are you using? Are you, you can see warm too. No, oh you can't. God. You can see. Are y'all like? Do y'all not have fully feel. developed brains? You, you can. can you cannot feel. see warm. You're seeing. Look. If you see fire, exactly. You can see warm. Exactly. You're seeing fire. You know fire is it's hot. hot. Yep. You cannot physically see that something's warm. You. We could heat up. We could heat up a black, like say a, a marble, oh, something that won't change color when it's hot. I could make this marble 200 degrees and go, hey, bro, pick that. Can you pick that up? For and me? I can see that it's warm. No, you won't. Bro, if it doesn't change its color, if it's something that won't change its color, you would pick that shit up and you'd be like, ah! Like, how, why do you think kids burn their hand on the stove? Because they're exactly. dumb. They can't see warm. You were probably that kid when your mom was like, don't touch the stove, and you're like, eh. I, this <laughs> is unbelievable. No, you can smell cold. Lie and say you can't. If how do you, you were, smell cold? You ever grab some ice cubes and you sneaked them? You have you ar- you've it. already broke the sense barrier. You're already you're touching, touching it. it. And when Climate you're bringing can. it up to your nose, you can fi- you can literally feel like the coolness. That's good. That's good. But you can ice cubes have smells. No, they don't. And they smell cold. That just means you haven't changed your filter. If you have, if your ice smells, that's, yeah. if your ice comes with scent, that's because it's literally level. just water. So if you can Rotten. smell your shit, then your pipes are nasty. You need to change a filter, dog. <laughs> you can't smell cold. No. Do you believe it? No! You smell things like flowers? I don't believe in like, you. Can you. Why are you on me? You don't believe me. No, yeah. He's cr- <laughs> just stop falling just, down. Just say I believe in you, buddy. Did you stink? He needs help. I smell? He needs help. You can smell me? Yes. How do your <laughs> shoes have hair in them already? You're lifting your legs up and all the- It's coming out? Bro, you've had these for a day. No, but okay, you can smell like colors too. You've we're already not, said this once. There. We're not going yes, there. you can. You had he had the nerve to say you can. That smells like yellow. It does. Like throw up smells like yellow, and like no. blueberries and like that like sweet. Fruit. Oh, they smell like blue. Purple, blue is more like is like environment. Like if you go on a nice win, like a nice summer day. What? That's like more of a blue. A color cannot smell. Yes, you it can. can. See a color. No, it Bro, cannot. y'all's brains have blockage of imagination. No. I'm convinced. Okay, imagination. Your, and your brain has thing. your brain has delusion. <laughs> no, oh, no, that one hurt. No, 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 no. Holy shit! <laughs> You're so moist. You are Ew, so wet. He, he's stick. You he's can, sticky. You can. He's sticky. Oh my God! Liv, touch his back. Liv, touch his back. It's I can bad. Smell it. Oh. He's, I can smell all the funkiness. <laughs> no, bro, we gotta end it. Yo, this is getting ridiculous. Y'all, y'all just don't believe this. In is stuff. Getting, no. I guess. I guess we'll humor him. Let us know if you can smell colors yeah. and smell warmth. Uh, that's where I draw. We didn't even get to fit. Do not do that, Paige. You hear that noise? I, I see things in the sky And they look at me to die And I want to go and cry But I can't because I'm shy Cam is my guy Liv's got to lie I'm gonna lie in the motherfucking sky Whoa, I hate my parents Oh shit! Did you just make that up immediately? That's pretty good. Like the rhyming shit. That was that's some fire. <laughs> Need to drop him a mixtape. <laughs> I hate my my favorite part was I hate the parents. Right. Hey, no, we gotta get out of here, bro. No, we gotta leave. No. All right, buckets. Thank you guys. So no, we much. gotta go home. We gotta go home. Thank you so much. Um, there's gonna be a uh, cool vlog on the <laughs> on the Patreon right now. Yeah. Big announcement from Mama Liv on Tim oh my God. right now. There's liquid in that crease. Holy shit, your what? belly hair is so black. It is black. Oh my God, it's so... Why does it go up so it's, far? It's so dark. Oh my God, it's so high. dark. Yeah, yeah. Well, it goes all the way. It's so dark. You're so Who wet. All right, we got we to gotta get out of here. Taco meat on all right. chest. No, it's gross. It's gross. All right, um... Give you a thousand dollars if you lick it. No, no, I'm not licking your stomach. <laughs> Here, Liv. What's this? Like, Cameron, lick it. That's 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 like gym hall money. That, oh, that would be a sick ass gym shark hall. Anyway, we love y'all. Episode fifty eight. Remember, See June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Southside Music Hall. Go. Get your tickets now before they sell out. Yeah. That's gonna be the first link in the bio. Yeah. Everything else, merch, Patreon. This is about to be a sick ass new Patreon vlog, and we're gonna have something else cooking up for next next week. Woo-hoo. But that's in the bio as well. Merch, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord, everything, all in the bio. You need to know. Secret code for this week is simply CAB. C A B. Chapped ass boy. <laughs> Damn it, I don't even forgot about it. Chapped ass boy. He's a chapped ass boy. Paper towels on his ass crack for two weeks straight. It can't be healthy. He probably still got them little 
fliggles in his butthole. <laughs> fliggles? Define fliggles. Like the little pieces of the paper towel. Oh, dingleberries. A fliggle. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Okay. One out of two koala bears. Don't make it home to Christmas. Live. I can't. I can't flick it. Hang on. Hang on. I can't flick it. And we will see you. Oh, mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you next time.